This is just a quick demonstration of how to set your pendulum clock. Uh, I've installed a new uh, suspension spring and the clock is out of beat. Uh, it's typical when you install a new spring. I slip my hand back in here. This is the pendulum leader where the pendulum hangs. And if I barely flip it here, you notice that it doesn't want to continue moving. Uh, it is too far to the left, to this side. So I'm going to slightly push it ever so gently until I start to feel some resistance right here. And I'm going to go just a hair more here. Okay, it's better, but we're still going too far to the left, it seems. So again, I'm going to take it and push it. I'm going to push it a little too far this time to exaggerate the situation. There, I went too far. Now I need to bring it back to the left. There we are. We have a nice, clean, even beat. So at this point, all I need to do is install my pendulum, which will, of course, slow it down, and we'll have a clock really in nice beat, which will continue, continue keeping time. To install the pendulum, I'm just going to take the pendulum leader here, or rather the top, bring it up, slide it in the groove rather carefully. There we are. Now I may start the pendulum. Give it a nice wide swing. And you can hear that we have a nice even beat. We aren't getting a tuck tick, tuck tick, tuck tick. We're getting a nice even tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. A good indication of whether a grandfather clock is in beat is to watch your second hand if so equipped, and you'll see a nice even sequence from one second to the next. And that's all there is to setting the beat of your clock. It's really quite simple. Just takes a little bit of time.